When people decide they want to go and explore the world, Asia is almost always top of the list of places to go. It seems there's no limit to the fascinating and unconventional things one may discover. Today, we're venturing into one of the world's most beautiful countries to see what we can find. From a whale carcass to the remains of mythical giants, join us as we explore the 20 strangest things discovered in Thailand. <sighs> Number 20. 5,000 Year Old Whale if you were on vacation and you found the remains of a whale, it probably wouldn't be a memory you wanted to remember, unless you were an archaeologist, in which case, it's the find of a lifetime, especially if it happens to be a collection of fossilized remains. When archaeologists found this skeleton in Thailand, they were understandably stunned. There aren't all that many whale subfossils in Asia. And here is an almost perfectly preserved specimen. The skeleton measured some 39 feet long and is now thought to be a bride's whale. When the experts began researching the bones, they found that it was likely to be anywhere between 3,000 and 5,000 years old. That's pretty wild, eh? Scientists hoped that the find would help them open up a window to the past that could help their studies in the realms of sea levels and biodiversity. So there you have it. Most people visit Thailand for the sights, the beaches, and the food. But if you're an archaeologist, the real appeal in Thailand has absolutely nothing to do with any of those things. It's all about the bones, man. All about them bones. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. It's time for the rare topic. What you're about to see is so weird, it's going to blow your mind. Scientists discovered a crab-like creature in Thailand that looks like something from outer space. Students and scientists from Mae Fa Luang University discovered the creature in the Krabby Limestone Cave. They say it's one of the strangest crabs they've ever seen, and they have no idea what its purpose is. It looks like one of those sinister facehugger things from the Alien movies, so it's a hard pass for me. But still, this is certainly one of the stranger things that's come out of the country. In fact, what scientists found in Thailand has left people speechless. How about you? Did it weird you out too, or are you still fascinated? Comment down below with the hashtag Egg rare topic, and let us know your opinion on what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. The Naga what do you know about the Naga? Unless you're some kind of expert in Thai or Java culture, you've probably never heard of this thing in your life. Allow me to educate you here for a second. The Naga is a mythological underworld deity, a dragon with many heads, and they may be real? A group of scientists were exploring caves in Krabi, Thailand, when they happened to find this giant skeleton surrounded by snake bones. Now, conventional logic tells us that most fossils just belong to ancient animals. But we're here in Thailand, and it's kind of hard to just ignore all the mythology. After all, the culture here has spoken of the Naga for what feels like generations, and now, here we are, looking at some giant bones that seem to suggest the Naga may actually have existed. That's a pretty big twist. But let's ask the real question here. Does this mean that other kinds of mythological creatures existed? Okay, there's no way to know anything about that, but if this thing is the fabled mythological Naga, it certainly would suggest that even the impossible can become possible in our world. I don't know if that that's awesome or terrifying. Number 18. The Soccer Team 
Back in 2018, there was a breaking news story that seemed to take the whole world by storm. Every day, it was an ever more dramatic saga. Would they make it out alive, or was it going to be a tragic story? In case you haven't already figured it out, I'm talking about the missing soccer team. After finishing their soccer practice, the 12 boys and their coach decided to explore a nearby cave complex. You know, as you do when you just had a great game. Unfortunately, they happened to visit during the rainy season and decided to ignore the warnings about why this was such a truly terrible idea. What happened next? You guessed it. Rising floodwaters had turned the cave into a death trap, trapping the kids inside the cave. Over the next 10 days, experts and authorities began planning how exactly they could rescue the kids. Was it even possible? The search and rescue operation quickly became an internal national event, with people flying in from all over the world to help out. As it turns out, the rescue was pulled off by two British divers, John Valanthan and Rick Stanton, both of whom, it turns out, are experts on cave rescues. That's lucky. All the boys were rescued safely, making this one of the all-time greatest search and rescue operations. Number 17. Ewok Monkeys Sorry to be the one to tell you guys this, but Star Wars is not a real thing. However, there are certainly some animals on our planet that could easily be mistaken for creatures from George Lucas's imagination. I'm talking, of course, about the Ewok monkeys. Okay, they're not actually called that, but, well, pretty obvious why I would make that comparison. This tour group had followed the sound of bizarre screaming to find this group group of strange-looking monkeys hanging near an island cave in Thailand. The animals look like deformed monkeys, but are clearly wandering around on two legs, like us. According to locals, the monkeys emerged from the cave to feed, but nobody seems to know if they pose any kind of threat to humans or not. Still, the tour group erred on the side of caution. Local legend has claimed that this island was cursed by a water spirit, which likely explains all of the marine ruined sailors, and cannibal tribes that have inhabited it. All of that aside, scientists have claimed that this could possibly be a whole new ancestor for us, and if we were able to investigate further, we may find that they could help cure disease. Or if it all goes wrong, they could enslave us and take over the planet. Planet of the Ewoks. I guess life is like Star Wars. Number 16. Hill Tribe. In the West, the word Karen has a uh, unfortunate connotation, or at least it does at the time of recording this. 2020 and 2021 have not been kind to that name. However, it's not all bad. The name Karen still has some less than hostile connotations. It's the name of a Thai tribe that has some good qualities, uh, like, uh, well, they exist. Isn't that enough? Across Thailand, you will find many hill tribes, groups of indigenous people. But one of the largest in the country is the Karen group, making up a population estimated to be around 100,000. And much like our more familiar Western Karen, there are many types contained within. Ska, also known as White Karen, familiar with that one, Po, or Red Karen, Pao, and the Kea. You actually probably already know at least one type of Karen. Karen, the Red Karen. The most famous subgroup here is the Karen Long Neck Tribe, recognized for their, you guessed it, long necks, emphasized by long brass coils. You can find these unique hill tribes all over Thailand, each one with their own unique culture and traditions. In fact, Thailand may be the only place in the world where acting like a Karen isn't a total insult. Again, apologies to anybody named. Karen who would like to be excluded from this narrative. Number 15. Lost Temple 
It always seems to happen in old adventure movies. You solve a puzzle that drains a big stone building and voila, you're looking at a lost temple. It's one of those old cliches that seem incredibly convenient. Turns out though, it's based on something that's very real. I'm not even kidding. It doesn't happen all that often, but at least one temple in Thailand can only be revealed when a drought strikes. The ruins of Wat Nong Bua Yai has been submerged under the water for some 20 years, making them totally inaccessible to curious tourists. Well, not totally if you happen to get lucky for, or should I say if, Thailand gets unlucky, you may be able to visit during a drought, and if so, the reservoir will dry up, and you'll be able to see the remains for yourself. It's probably one of the only good things to come out of a drought, however, it's still pretty rare. This phenomenon has only happened twice in recorded history, so the chances of you being able to guarantee seeing it, even during a drought, is impossible. But maybe you'll get lucky, or maybe you'll have to settle for seeing it on your screen, like the rest of us. Number 14. Freya Nakon Cave so now that we dealt with one adventure movie cliche, it's time for us to tackle another. That thing I mentioned about having to solve the puzzles before you can access the big hidden treasure trove. Yeah, turns out that's not all that far-fetched either. Honestly, at this point, I'm starting to think Indiana Jones is a historical figure. The Freya Nakhon Cave is one of the most unique and mythical landmarks in Thailand, and yet very few travelers actually get the chance to take a picture of it. Because it's just so dang hard to get to, this unique gold and green pavilion is hidden inside a very difficult to reach cave in Khao Sam Roy Yat National Park in Prachwap Kiri Khan Province. To get there, you have to drive to a village, then rent a boat or take a 30-minute hike. If you were to take a hike, you have another complication. The steps are both steep and highly uneven, which certainly adds to the Indiana Jones-esque adventure, but also, well, it brings you closer to death, so that's fun. Those who actually manage to reach the top have described it as a breathtaking sight, a glowing reward for what sounds like an absolutely grueling journey. If you can find your inner Indiana Jones, this sounds like one hell of a time. Number 13. Fishing Mall the mall does not have the kind of relevancy that it once did. We all know that to be true, and it seems that some people know that they know it well enough to turn the mall into something more fascinating altogether. Like, eh, I don't know, a mall for fish? As yet, the technology doesn't exist for fish to pay for goods. So there are no stores open for these animals, but eh, close enough. In 1997, Bangkok's New World Mall was officially closed. And as if that wasn't bad enough, a fire broke out in 1999, leaving it without a roof. But as often tends to happen, the universe took this as an opportunity to make something curious happen. The mall was quickly flooded with water during the rainy season, creating the perfect environment for a mass mosquito outbreak. Look, I never said nature did something good, did I? The locals, fed up of getting bitten and attacked, came up with a pretty genius idea. They would breed freshwater catfish and koi fish in the mall's water. The fish would eat the mosquitoes and the problem would be solved. So basically, these locals took an abandoned mall and turned it into the world's most unique natural aquarium. The stores have also been converted, allowing tourists to buy fish food. Nice thinking, people. Number 12, Python on the Loose. I feel confident in saying that we would all panic if we heard there was an 11-foot-long python on the loose in our local park. 
But luckily for the people of Thailand, their authorities don't even bat an eyelid at news like that. In fact, it seems just like about everybody is ready to handle the situation as soon as it comes up. The snake was spotted in Bangkok's Benjisiri Park by joggers and children, who noticed the python hiding in a tree. Immediately after the snake was first identified, the firefighters were notified of its presence. Yeah, firefighters. So what did they do? Set the hose on it? Nah, they went directly after it. Realizing that authorities were coming to take him away, the snake attempted to stage an escape by fleeing for a nearby rooftop. But guess what? The firefighters knew that would be the escape path and were waiting. The firefighters successfully managed to rescue the snake, which, at 11 feet long and weighing 77 pounds, is the biggest python spotted in Benjasiri Park within the past decade. So for any snakes out there, Thailand authorities are more than ready and capable of dealing with you. If you really want Want to outsmart the authorities, feel free to come to the US. We're, uh, not really prepared. Number 11. Make Long Railway Market it seems like everything needs a gimmick nowadays. I mean, what's so special about a market? A place where people can just buy their goods and go home? Bleh. Where's the fun? Where's the adventure? Where's the trains? Thankfully, Thailand's Meklong Railway Market is here to pick up the slack. The Miklong Railway Market is basically your average traditional Thai market. It sells vegetables, fruit, food, you know, all that usual market stuff. Oh, and a train sometimes plows right through the market. Did I mention that already? Yeah, what really makes this market unique is the fact that it sits on part of a train line. Several times a day, vendors must take down their stands and move some of their produce away from the train track because that thing just blasts right through. As soon as the train runs through, the vendors go back to their original spots and get back to selling. Welcome to Thailand. In any Western country, this would have been shut down decades ago, and yet the people in this Thai community don't even bat an eyelid at how strange it is. Sure, they almost get hit by a train while selling fruit, but hey, that's the job. Number 10. Black Giant Squirrels In our list of fossils and temples and markets where you can almost die, it feels kinda weird to highlight a slightly bigger than average animal. But hey, we will not do what you tell us, and the Black Giant Squirrel is something we all need to address. This is not a big squirrel, it's a giant squirrel found in the forests of East Asia. These are the biggest squirrels in Thailand. Yeah, but they're also one of the biggest squirrels in the world, capable of growing longer than 3.2 feet. 1.9 feet of that, by the way, is purely for the tail. Yeah, these things are half as big as an average man. Not the kind of thing you'd want to see after dark, eh? Luckily for most of us, the black squirrel prefers to stay high up in the trees, so you won't ever see one of these things after dark. Well, maybe. They do sometimes come down to the forest floor to forage for food. Don't worry, they won't eat humans. Yet. Black giant squirrels are so much more than just big squirrels. I mean, they're giant. It's kinda in the name. But they're also a rare find. You'll never find one of these guys outside of Thailand. And that is more than enough reason to make our list. Number 9. Giant Snake Stone it's a rock. That's what you're probably thinking looking at this video. And yes, you're right, it is a rock. But it's curious, right? This snake-shaped stone was found at Naka Cave in Thailand. 
In fact, the rock resembles a snake to such an extent that it seems like some sorcerer managed to turn the snake into stone. But, uh, well, that couldn't possibly happen, could it? Maybe. There are many, many stories about how this rock came to exist, but the most common is also the most unbelievable, because it's apparently the prison of a king. Stick with me on this. According to local legend, this rock is the current resting place of King Ulu, a former monarch who displeased his people. The king was transformed into a serpent and cursed with the misery of imprisonment within his rock. Until Ratapa Naken again becomes the city, King Ulu is cursed to remain within this rock. The story is a little bit much for many, but locals still believe it. They continue to believe that when Ratapa Tapa Naken becomes a city, the rock will again turn back into a snake and ultimately transform the king into his human form. I would be interested to see it, but can't lie, I'd be pretty scared. Number 8. Kwekien Beach Statue what are your thoughts on the beach? Are you a fan or is it too much for ya? If you're one of those people who loves the beach but hates the crowd, allow me to introduce you to your next vacation destination, Huequien Beach. Huequien is one of the most beautiful and quiet beaches anywhere in the world. Tourism is light, the beach is sandy and white, and best of all, you get some curious statues to stare up at. The statues represent characters from Fra Afai Mani, the epic poem deemed to be a masterpiece written by Sun Thon Fu. The statues perfectly encapsulate Fu's writing and world, representing a sea ogress, a mermaid, and a whole bunch of other characters. Experts believe that Sun Thon Fu had visited the beach long before and was so impressed that he used the beach as a backdrop for a story. Well, today, he and his work have become an ingrained part of this beach. It's hard to imagine what Puek Yen would be without him or these beautiful statues. Would it be busier I don't know, man. I'm a voiceover artist. I don't work in tourism. Number 7. Giant Supermarket Lizard Imagine the scene. You head to your local 7-Eleven to pick up some Gatorade and a pack of Reese's Pieces. You turn the corner to go pay and you happen to see Godzilla roaming the aisles looking for something. Okay, so it may not be Godzilla, but it turns out you can absolutely have that experience in Thailand. This video shows the scene unfolding. On an otherwise typical night in Bangkok, a giant monitor lizard just walked right in, but it didn't just walk right in and call it a day. No, no, no. Customers were shocked to see the lizard climbing the shelves before just sprawling out beside the ice cream machine because of course they were shocked. They came in for their Gatorade and they're seeing a relative of a real-life gator. The store owner quickly contacted authorities, who turned up and managed to drag the lizard out of the store. But where in the world did it come from? Well, it's a mystery that will remain unsolved for now. But if anybody has any kind of guesses, feel free to let us know. I'd like to be comforted in knowing Godzilla is not around the corner. Number 6. Three-Headed Elephant how do you like to soak up the culture when you visit a new city or country? Through its food, through its streets, through its museums, probably all three, but museums are certainly one of the greatest ways to get to know a new land, and Bangkok certainly has some of the most unusual. There are an unbelievable amount of grand palaces and temples throughout the city, but let's be honest, you can just Google it to find the most popular ones. We're going to focus on a lesser known temple, but one of the more fascinating ones, the Arawan Museum. This is by far one of the more unique and must-see museums in the world, housing one of Thailand's most celebrated private art collections, while also serving as a visual representation of Thailand's Theravada Buddhism. 
Sounds wild, right? But mostly the museum is known for its massive three-headed elephant, a 65-foot high bronze statue that reflects Hindu mythology. In fact, the museum is often heralded as an example of how art can be used to express religious history or beliefs. And as you can see, it does a pretty good job of that. It may not be one of the more well-known museums, but it should absolutely be on your list if you ever visit. Number 5. Ancient Cave Paintings the scope of human history is insane when you really stop to think about it. We've been on this earth for thousands of years, and we're still discovering new things about ourselves, our ancestors, and all of the culturally significant things they did. Case in point, cave paintings. Is there anything that represents humanity better than cave paintings? Well, sure, maybe war, but cave paintings represent where we came from, scrawling pictures of what we saw on the walls. So when archaeologists discover new cave paintings, like these found in Western Thailand, they understandably get very excited. These paintings were found in a cave at the Khao Sam Roy Yad National Park in Prachwap Kiri Khan Province. They depict human-like figures, some with accessories on their bodies and others hunting animals with a bow and arrow. It's not yet known how old these paintings are, but it goes without saying that they reflect a very specific time in history. At one time, this is how people lived. They went out, they hunted their food with bows and arrows, and some people stayed home to draw their likeness. Probably better than blasting them on Twitter. Number 4. Mokin Tribe We've already covered the topic of tribes, but the Mokin tribe is not like any other tribe in Thailand. In fact, they're not like any other tribe I've ever heard of. Their traditions are so unusual and unique that I'm not sure any other people in the world would even consider trying it. The Mokin are a group of around 2,000 to 3,000 tribesmen and women living a semi-nomadic hunter-gatherer lifestyle heavily based on the sea. As you can imagine, that means they don't tend to live in the woods or the jungle. Actually, they spend most of their time underwater. Yep, underwater. Their detailed and intricate knowledge of the water allows them to live off the undersea flora and fauna using simple tools like nets or spears. So yes, this is an underwater tribe, something I absolutely never expected to actually be a thing. And before you ask, the Mokin's traditions are, of course, based on their own beliefs. They have no religion, but they firmly believe that natural resources are something that the entire community should have access to without restrictions. Their lifestyle is environmentally friendly, and just in case, they often will offer goods up to supernatural beings as a way of showing their respect. Gotta cover all bases, I guess. Number 3. Solar Chicken Yes, yes, Kentucky Fried Chicken is delicious. Korean Fried Chicken, unbelievable. Honestly, any kind of fried chicken will probably be something close to seeing God in the flesh. However, we're looking at something more curious altogether. Have you ever tried Solar Chicken? If not, why not? About two and a half hours south of Bangkok, in Phetchaburi, you'll find a roadside vendor named Sila Sutherat. His wares are, you know, something you're probably familiar with. Chickens. The only difference is that his chickens are sun-roasted. Using an impressive curved wall of almost a hundred movable mirrors, he reflects the sun onto a row of marinated chickens. And here's the wild thing. It takes about 12 minutes to cook the chicken to perfection. But even crazier, it's tender and evenly cooked. No more overcooked dry breast meat, my friends. Sun roasting is the way to go. Not only is Sila's incredible device cost-effective, device cost-efficient, and environmentally friendly, but it's also earned him an honorary science degree from a local university. Sila said he was proud to receive the honor and a little bit surprised because he barely passed the fourth grade. The lesson here is that your grades don't matter if you know how to roast a chicken. Number 2. World's Biggest Buddha 
It seems like every country wants to be known for having the biggest something. Well, here in Thailand, they're very clear on what they want. They want the world's biggest Buddha. And if you listen to them, they already have it. Let's take a closer look at the big guy, shall we? In November 2018, the Great Buddha of Thailand was officially named the tallest statue in Thailand, the second tallest in Southeast Asia, and the ninth tallest in the world. That's a lot of achievements for one day. The statue stands at an insane 300 feet tall and took almost two decades to finish construction, but before you start thinking that the government wasted money on this vanity project, you should know that all of this came from people who believed in Buddha Buddhism. The statue was built from money donated by dedicated Buddhists who considered the act making merit. So is it still the tallest statue in all of Thailand? Unless somebody's built a 301 foot tall statue, the answer is yes. And even if that changes shortly, we can safely say that it is for sure the largest statue of Buddha anywhere in the world. And I don't see that changing anytime soon. Number 1. Thai Caveman Would you sleep with this man? If you believe him, the answer would probably be an easy yes, because according to the guy himself, he's something of a Lothario, with quite the reputation for seducing dozens of Western backpackers. <laughs> Uh, sure, okay. His name is Chatupum Losari, but he goes by a different name, the Thai Caveman. According to the caveman, he often meets attractive and adventurous backpackers, seduces them, and brings them back to his cave, a former tin mine. From there, well, I think you can figure out what happens. When the word finally got out, the internet was pretty horrified by the stories, and even more so, when they found out the caveman was posting photos of the women he was sleeping with. It's not exactly classy, is it? Concerned about the guy's intentions, police stopped by his cave and inspected the place, but found nothing suspicious within. Still, they vowed they would monitor the situation to ensure no harm came to any women. The caveman naturally insists that he did nothing wrong, saying that women came to his cave willingly, but do they consent to have it broadcast to the world? Well, uh, I'm gonna guess the answer is no. Which of these things would you most like to see in Thailand? Let us know in the comments, even you caveman lovers. Also check out our other cool stuff, showing up on screen right now. See you next time.